Hi everybody, welcome back. Valerie London here, hello. Uh, today I'm going to be making um, pecan butter cookies. All right, keto of course, keto friendly. Uh, of course you don't want to eat too much. Um, so this is the pecan butter mixture I buy. I'm going to put all the links in the video. And of course I like to always use one of the gadgets that I love to use and all the links for all the gadgets will be here. And the ingredients are this pecan stuff. You can use any kind of nut butter, peanut butter, whatever. Swerve sweetener or some kind of erythritol, which I can never pronounce. I Forgive me, uh, sweetener. So I use the confectioner's brand. You want some vanilla. You want some salt. Then you want, um, so, uh, so to that is one cup of that pecan butter or any kind of butter. And you want two tablespoons of almond meal fine ground and two tablespoons of psyllium husk. Now the reason I use psyllium husk is, and you can moderate the amount of silicon, um, uh, psyllium husk that you use. Here's psyllium husk, all right? You can buy that from Amazon. Again, all the links are below. Um, and did I say salt? Salt, all right? Um, the um, reason I use um, psyllium husk is because this erythritol stuff, um, sorry, wrong one, this erythritol sweetener, um, this uh, tends to make me a little um, loosey-goosey in the stool department. So um, just, um, it's, it's the nature of the beast, right? So you're using a substitute and there's a bit of um, some sort of fibrous action that works in here. So the, the psyllium actually helps to cut that down, and you're not going to eat too many of these cookies, all right? So here is my uh, other ingredient, one egg, and you want to beat it, and I'm just going to show you how magnificent this, um, um, this gadget is. There's a whole video on this gadget, so you can look at that. That crackling noise in the background is something else that I'm cooking for you guys, so I'll get back to that as soon as the beeper goes off. So, I'm going to um, just pull the string. Ooh, look how wonderful this is. And in two seconds flat, you have a beaten egg. Isn't that fantastic? I love that. All right. And then I'm going to add my uh, nuts. Now, the other great thing is I'm going to make everything in this container. Oh, my God, how fabulous. One thing to wash uh, because I'm the laziest keto person ever. Um, so here we go. Here is our nuts in there. Uh, oh, and there's my beeper, so I'll be right back, all right? Because my oven is calling me. Okay, I'm back. So here is the, the nut butter, the egg. And we're going to add a smidge of salt. Be generous with your salt because salt is good for a, a lot of things. And then here is my psyllium. An almond butter mixture. I need a spoon. We're going to put that in. Try and break it up a bit. And we're going to add that in to both sides of this gadget. I don't know what else to call it because it does a whole bunch of things. It has a chopper attachment. And there I, there I go. I'm making a mess. So there we go. That's that. And then what else? We need a vanilla. All right, so one teaspoon of vanilla, that goes in there. And then we need our, our sweetener. So I use in this one, I have to refer to my notes here. Uh, let's see, two um, tablespoons of this sweetener. Um, and you can add more if you want it um, sweeter. So um, I use these scoop things that I don't know, I get in various things that I buy. All right, so that's, um, I think I may add three scoops to this lot because I'm making a slightly larger batch. And as I said, I like the confectioner's brand for most of the desserts because um, it blends really quickly and easily. So because I'm a neat freak, I'm just going to clean off my uh, board here. All right, I'm going to put this back, put this on here put the lid on oh my god how fabulous is this and then we're just gonna pull it really gently now it's, it, you don't want to break your gadget all right so just 
do this really, really gently to start until it gets all incorporated. Remember you have some flour and some other tough ingredients in here. And you only have one egg. So this pulling action has to be really slow so you don't break the, the gadget. All right? All right? And you don't need that many pulls because it's really... After 10 pulls or so, let's see if I can get this thing off. Right, so I learned something, you can twist off the lid so you don't have to uh, fight with it. And here is my mixture all beaten and ready to go. And the, the, this is my cookie batter. Look how exciting that is. And you pull this thing out, there's not much to clean. You just get your little spatula thingy and you um, clean it all off. Give it a taste to see if it's got the right amount of um, sweetener in it. And then you put it, uh, form it into like cookie shapes on a baking sheet and cook it for eight minutes um, or less because this browns very quickly. So watch it and um, watch it. Now, if you, if you want a hard cookie, um, you're fine. If you want a slightly softer cookie, add a tablespoon of this beef gelatin. All right? And I just might do that. One tablespoon of beef beef gelatin and it makes it soft and um, not so crunchy all right so that is the recipe and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven hi there I'm back with my uh, pecan cookies they're very lovely all right I'm gonna move one up to the camera all right and they're nice and brown um, I had to put these in for um, 10 minutes in the regular in my regular oven uh, on the bake setting, um, 400 degrees, all right? And um, they're very soft and chewy. Can you see that? Um, and uh, they're a bit hot right now because they just came out, so I'm not going to taste them. Um, just let them sit on a plate uh, so that they fully cool down. And don't keep them on the baking tray because they'll, um, uh, on the hot baking tray because they'll keep cooking. So I'm just going to take them off real quick. And again, um, just be careful with these because they do have psyllium husks in them and they do have um, the, the substitute sugar. So um, you might have a, I don't know what your body can accept, reject, etc. So um, just start off with one a day, you know. Um, of course, you want to keep your carb count down. So these are about three carbs each. Um, so just let's just say there's six carbs each just to be on the safe side all right so um uh, ration these out and you're gonna have basically one a day right for a couple of days how many did this yield two four six eight nine so we got nine here and they're sort of a generous sized cookie all right so enjoy and um recipe gadget details etc will be on the blog or on the you know and transfer to the video <laughs> one way or another right? depends on how I can figure it out okay and of course all the links to the ingredients are going to be down there as well so um, I'll, I'll make a special um, blog for the ingredients all right so enjoy thank you bye bye